I want the L, G, and the B to be separate from everything else. They know in 20 years, if this continues, it's going to be normalized. Yeah. And who knows what comes after this. I know. After, you know, the trans agenda, the pedophile agenda, whatever. Latino American, he's very gay, and he's to the right of Attila the Hun, and yeah. he's so scared. He's like, man, I've lost friends just because oh, we didn't go for Biden. He's like, these people are the most unaccepting I've in the world. I've had, uh, I've had uh, two people walk out on me on dates because I said, Trump's not that bad. That's all I said. That's all you said? And then they walk off. Hey, these, you're gonna pay your bar tab? Or? Or these, yeah. Gotcha. I got it. Yeah. Or, these ladies or these guys? Dudes. Okay. That's what I figured. I, I gotta tell you, it's all the same. Oh, no, you know, it's, it's changing. It's changing. It really is changing. We have a huge gay following of people just because they're like, look, they come to the shows, they don't get a they know there's no hate. Like, again, this, you should list, I wish this guy would be on the show. He's, yeah, I tell this joke, it's so funny. He's, he's like flamboyantly gay, yeah. very, very Latino. Yeah. And uh, he broke up with his boyfriend of 18 years over Biden. Because. And he was like, because he betrayed me. He's like, he betrayed me. Yeah. I told him, he's like, I told him that if you vote for Biden. And so what happened is he, he was in, he's in LA, but now he's in Florida. And I, Dave and I always joke about this. He's like, don't tell that on air. But uh, one of his neighbors in LA uh, has another neighbor who's like a, a Syrian migrant refugee sure. and had goats in the yard. And he said his neighbor, who's a liberal, sent him like a, a news clipping and like goats in the yard. He's like, can you believe this? He goes, can I believe it? You voted for this shit. I hope he sets up a whole f***ing petting zoo. <laughs> I was sitting there like, oh, I'm trying to breathe. He's like, f*** you. I hope you're, I, I, he's like, I hope this whole neighbor gets calming and went, calming when he tries to it so I can not care. Yeah, this yeah. guy is so catty. I'm like, dude, there's, you gotta calm down. But he's he's just he's done with it. You yeah, know what I mean? mean? There's such a divide happening right now, and and I agree with it. I want I want the L G and B to be separate from everything else. But, the, and the there's a whole movement for that. The T is a real problem for you guys. I, I like think it is. Now when they're going after kids, you know, yeah. the hormone replacement. I never wanted that. I well, never. The problem is too. All I wanted was was gay marriage. Right. You don't even have to call it marriage. You can call it whatever you want. Sibling. I want to be able to be seen the same right. way in the eyes of the law right. as you know my straight counterparts. Right. But yeah, it was the T that sort of brought everything else. Well, man, it's like people often because sometimes people say like, oh, homophobic or transphobic. I go, look, the idea that we're going to we're using the chemical castration drugs. It's the same drug as yep. they use for yep. on yep. kids. Yep. The yep. idea that we're using this and saying the science is out. We just talked yeah, about it's this. Irreversible. It's irreversible. Yep. The science is not out on cancer. Science is not out on endometriosis, on infertility. Like we know, if you're a woman and you get breast cancer, yep. and I have a nanny who just had a double mastectomy, the first thing to do is put you on an estrogen blocker. Because if that gets high, even for women, it's bad. But for mm -hmm. men, we know that it causes cancer. The male body is not meant to have that level of estrogen. It's just, it's, it's, it's incredibly corrosive. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, 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 it's a, it's a real problem. And what's funny is too, where if you give, you know, if men have higher testosterone, Sure. It actually helps with like metabolic disorders like type 2 diabetes. But if women get testosterone, it makes it worse. And so it's just your body is meant to have a certain profile of hormones. Mm. We all know that because people, right, they want it. Why are people eating organic? Why are they drinking from glass bottles opposed to plastic? Right. Because they talk about these, you know, hormones in the food. They talk about the xenoestrogens, you know, the BPA plastic. That's all it is. Sure. When you inject it directly into a nine-year-old's ass, but we don't know the science. It's really, really scary. And you look at these kids who are trying to transition back. And so like, we're not going to see those effects for another, what, 10 years? And how, who knows how many of our gen this younger generation is going to be, you know, already, uh, you know, have that stuff in their body. And so like, how, how many of them are just gay? And how many of them just may be gay and then someone says you're trans? I was, I was watching a podcast with this, uh, she's a lesbian and she... Uh, but she's fun at parties. ...doing the same thing the whole time. Well, she's the same idea as, as us. Now, being just gay is being transphobic. Yes. And I don't like that either. No, I know. I'm like, I like this. Well, and I think a lot of, too, like with my, um, <laughs> gosh. Well, I mean, everybody just, would be fluid. I, don't, I, don't, I mean, the truth is, like, the, like the gay thing is, like, it's still in a binary. You know what I mean? It's still in a binary or maybe bisexual. Sure. But it's like, we still acknowledge that there are men and women. The idea that it's not a real thing, that's, that's a totally different... Uh, I mean, it's a chasm between someone being gay yeah. and someone... And by the way, it's a chasm between 
Like I wrote this article, this is a long time ago, in 2009. I wrote an article and it was titled, uh, this was when, before Breitbart became Breitbart, it was just big Hollywood, and I wrote an article uh, titled, uh, Elton John and Rush Limbaugh agree on gay marriage. No. And Elton John, he said, he said like, why do you need to push for like the institution? He said like, civil union is what you should push for, so that way everyone's happy. Sure. And yeah. that's what Rush Limbaugh said. And by the way, Elton John performed at Rush Limbaugh's wedding. Yeah. And uh, that's what, and then of course Elton John got just he just got excoriated. He had to walk it back. I'm like, look, even if you look back there, when people said everything is homophobic, it's, if you, even if you look in California, like full civil union, full rights, we just want to separate the marriage thing because of the church. And now you see what happens in Canada. Sure. But right. in Canada, if you're a pastor and you refuse to marry two men, you're done. Oh yeah, that's the yeah. thing. That's the problem. Well, it's like they should be. That's why I think marriage should be totally separate from the church and the state, anyway. Yeah. Like, I don't even think. I think the Christian church has screwed that, that up too. It's like the Bible doesn't say, "And thou shalt have a joint bank that. account." Yeah. You know? I'm not even after that. I don't need to be married in church. I just want to be able to like file taxes together. Right. And like you know, no. be able to see my exactly. loved one in the hospital. In the hospital. Or a will. You know. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Sign a will. Exactly. That's, it. that's all I want. To and make now, that. Like, Working it in front of toddlers is uh, Dude, a thing now. I know. It's so disgusting. For you. It's so f Here's the thing. It's disgusting. People go like... Uh, it embarrasses me, honestly. I'm, I'm I, I, it, it, <laughs> you know when people say it's a double standard? I go, where do you ever see a, a straight... What's any stri straight what? Exactly. exactly. It shouldn't be a drag right. show just like it shouldn't be a f***ing strip club. Yeah, this is not the same thing. No. It's bar culture. Yeah. We, we really distill it down. It's bar culture. And That's by the way, it's not, even, it's not even like this bar. It's... Severe, yeah. a, it's serious adult bar culture on the streets, yes. okay. and that's the problem. Is that like, what are you homophobic? It's like I just don't want to see a c next to my next yeah. to my wing dinner. It, you know, it's it's all about normalization. That's what they're trying to do, and, and you know, they they know in 20 years if this continues, it's going to be normalized. Yeah, and who knows what comes after this? I know. After, you know, the trans agenda, the pedophile agenda, whatever is going to come. Well, remember uh, if if. if I say it as a straight heterosexual male. If I'm like, oh, they go, oh, are you comparing gays to pedophilia? I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm saying that drag queen story hour at a public library is pedophilia at that point. It's sexualization of children. That's not because sure. some yeah. of you, I, I honestly, these places, I'm like, I could play spot the gay men, and I don't even know that I'd be able to pick them out. I'm like, that's just a dude dressed up like a woman who still likes women. I'm like, I, so you're not. Yes, having, yes, yes. So <laughs> you have nothing to do with gay people, but you are stripping in front of kids. Oh, I it's, appreciate it's, it, man. Oh, I no, sure, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's yeah. do it. We're, we're on our way out. I was saying no to everyone else because we get security issues, but I'm on the way out, so you can do whatever okay. you want. I appreciate it. You know Hello. what's funny? We're, we've been asking people today, all we've been asking them is, uh, are you proud to be American? Are you guys proud to be American? That's it. You proud to be an American? Yes, sir. Well, at least I know I'm free. Greatest country in the world? No. <laughs> <laughs> Only people who aren't white bitches. Look, I Blacks, am... Asians, Mexicans are like, yeah, man, it's the greatest country. And then like white women are like, fuck off. I am the product of uh, an immigrant family. That Wh where from? Oh, oh man, man, you're tall for I am, I know. I know. It's what are you, 6'2"? 6'2"? 6'1". I guess it's the uh, hair, right? 6'2". All right, count of three, one, two. Dude, thank you so much. No, thank you. And I appreciate, man, I, I know the balls it takes to stand up and you're like, I, I feel genuinely well, bad. I don't anymore. Yeah. So I, 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 I bartend. That's a liberal, like, you know, I'm liberals all over the place. Right. And after the Roe v. Wade, everyone was buzzing about it. And I'm just like, shut up. This yeah. doesn't belong in a bar with alcohol and I know. whatever. I'm not gloating. I don't care. But also... I think it's yeah. the end of the world. It's like, did you realize this is a very... This is something to me, the Roe v. Wade thing. It's like, oh, this is a very, very rare instance. Okay, for people who talked about the Supreme Court, right, people talked about gay marriage, all these issues, and now there's a problem, there's overreach of government. This is a very rare instance where the court actually stepped back from power yep. and said, yep. we're going to do nothing with this, and states can do whatever they want. Like, anyone who just says, yeah, I believe in freedom, freedom it's a, the power. Exactly. When people say, it's destroying democracy, I'm going, why the unelected court saying this should go to your elected officials? Yes. Like, I can't think of anything that is more pro-democratic process than that. Yeah. And, but people think, it's a ban on abortion. The people that are freaking out the most haven't even really read it. No, no, they, they don't understand it. They don't get it. I know. And so I don't know. I know. No, what I have to about school. Like when I was growing up, they taught us the Constitution. They taught us our rights. They they did all that. Now they're teaching something completely different, and uh, it's ruining. I'll tell you what it is. It's, it's, it's white. I really. It's white women. Okay. It's white women. I, I have a joke in Senate. I'm like, we don't need to build a wall on the southern border. We need one around every single pottery barn. Just seal them in until 2025, because they all become teachers. Sorry, true heroes. And uh, yeah, yeah. they have never worked in the private sector. Most of them are public school teachers. Yes. And we've even said this today. Look, you know this. As a gay man, probably better than I do. If you see a woman, she's attractive. And she's with a man. She's happy. She's conservative. Mm -hmm. If you see a woman who's past the point of her window, 
And she's single, she's miserable, or she's unattractive. That's cold, huh? She's always liberal. She's always yeah. liberal. Oh, totally. Like there was a, and, it's, and it's almost all, the Demo, right now, think about it, Biden's losing with under 25. He's losing with under 30. He's lost, he's losing blacks, he's losing uh, Latinos, huge. Absolutely. The only place he still wins is suburban white women. And that's the same thing today. Black people are like, man, I'm proud to be American. And I go, yeah, what is it? Like, man, it ain't perfect, but I'm free. And then white people are like, oh, no, I don't think so. And I'm like, really? Because the black guy you claim to speak for that's marginalized, yeah. he says you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I really think it's, it's a disconnect, and it's, people think it's an urban thing. It, it has become a suburban, predominantly. It's yeah. generally women, but particularly white women. Latino yeah, women aren't nearly as liberal. It's the white women that are shutting those, uh, those black voices down that are uh, not saying what they want. Well, black people also say. shutting down gay voices. Right? Gay like, voices. J.K. Rowling, like, turf. And it's like, mm, mm, yeah. really, really, almost every gay guy I've spoken with is like, yeah, the trans thing is a problem. Like, we're getting a little, this is going to be a problem for us because we don't want to be lumped in with that. Mm. It's like white women are like, no, turf, it's LGBT. I've never heard one gay man say LGBTQAAIP unironically. Not one. In the, in the media, sure. Mm, but in real life? I mean, I'm sure you fought running a more of them. More embarrassing. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. To be like rep I'm not even representing that. That's why I walk away. Yeah. I don't even I don't even go to the neighborhood anymore. I, I I just don't want to participate in that. Is it? Yeah. But, but I mean, I feel like you get some areas here that are nice. They're you know, it's not like it's not like uh, San Francisco where they're always around like in f chokers and stuff on the street. Mm -hmm. I mean, you haven't been to Pride. Yeah. <laughs> like, Is yeah, it here in San Diego? Yeah. And then what embarrasses me, like I've never been to Pride. Yeah. My first Pride I was invited to, I moved here 15 years ago, and it was going to be my first Pride. And I was invited to represent this bar that I frequented. And I was excited, came in that Saturday, saw the platform that I was going to be on. Literally a flatbed like platform with poles sticking out of it. Right? That was one thing. Then I went inside, they were, the, the owner was like, here, wear this. And I was like, okay. And then I saw the baskets of candy everywhere. I was like, oh, stuffed animals. And I was like, what's this for? It's like, oh, it's for the kids. Hold on. You want me to wear this and stand on this, holding this pole, and throw kids, at, throw candy at kids? No, absolutely not. Walked away. God. Never been to a gay pride parade ever after that. Oh my Just God. Because like, I don't, there's nothing there that represents me. Right. And maybe if there was like a, a group of like conservative gay men that would oh, represent there, themselves. There are, there are tons now. Like, I even talk about this in the, where it's like, remember the Florida don't say gay bill. It's just, you can't teach kids about sexual issues. From it doesn't even say gay in the entire no. bill. And you haven't read it. Well, well, not you, but like, no, 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 most people, no, I understand. have not read it. Well, what's funny to me is there was this like, you know, lesbian on TikTok, and I repeat myself, right? She, she was like, this is the example of a double standard of heterosexual, of heterodoxy versus lesbian women. I'm like, yeah, because we all remember walking up to our second grade teacher being like, yeah, by the way, who are you plowing? Like, it never came up. Yeah. Straight yeah. people didn't yeah. do it because I didn't know their first name of my teacher. They're acting like straight people are telling them, like, this is my partner, this is what we do, this is the parade we attend. It yeah. never came up. Yeah. This is the group that wants to bring it up with kindergartners. And it's like, then they, they say it's a double standard. It's like, no, you're right, it's a double standard because of what you want to do. These little kids don't know any of these things and they're already treating each other equally. Yeah. As right. a general rule. They tend to, right. and then we screw them up. Now we're putting this stuff in their heads, and it's like, oh. Ugh. Well, you give me hope for the country, man. People like you, and honestly, yeah, I, I tell you, just talking to everyone here, you'd be amazed. It's like, I've been working on this for a long time. Black Americans are inherently, like, more conservative than any group. They just don't, they just don't realize it. They vote yeah. Democrat, but all I'm like, man, America's great. I'm washed into thinking, like, this is my, these are my people. Right. You know what I mean? It's not, these are your people, it's an ideology. Right. Yeah, and most of them don't share it. So, all right, go. I don't want to see you giving a haircut, but thank you, man. Hey, if you like this video, hit that uh, notification bell up there uh, or subscribe or sh share this, right? Isn't that right, Dave? Smash that like button and share it. What, 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 you wear? what are you wearing there? That's nice. Oh, this is, uh, I found it in the trash. Yeah, also known as? Your shirt. Crowdershop.com, which is where you can go and support. And uh, we, we, have over, we keep the overstock in the trash. It's for people who are little. Yeah. He also, says I haven't earned it yet because I ain't grown all the way. By the way, if you find Hunter Biden's gun in there, just let it be.